Welcome to GeoGebra Lab 2. We're going to start the same way we did Lab 1 by turning off the, the grid and the axes. And we'll use a couple circle tools. We'll start with the first one, the circle through the center, with center through point. It means we can click a center point and the point that the circle goes through. So if we switch back to the move menu or move tool, we can change this. I can move the center, but do you notice as I change the center, since the point B is fixed, it changes the size. I could change where point B is. If I want to change, if I want to just move the whole circle, I can drag the edge of the circle. There are some settings we can change. I'm going to right click and hit settings and it opens up this box. By the way, there's another way to get to it. You can go the down the three dots and go to settings. And we can change the name of this. I'll call it circle one. And if I use an underscore one, it makes a name with a subscript. You can also change the colors and uh, other styles like thickness and so forth. I'll close this settings box down and let's use a different circle tool. Let's do circle with center and radius. Again, every time we do pick a tool, it tells us how to use that tool in the help. So this said to pick a spot for the center and now we can type a radius. It's kind of hard to tell what how big three is because we turned off the grid, but uh, this would have been three grid grid markings. Okay, to refresh, let's uh, change the name of this as well. So I hit settings a different way instead of right clicking on the circle. Let's call this circle two. Okay, uh, let's hide these. If you remember that from the first time, you could hide a couple different ways. I'll hide this one one way. If I click on show object. I can hide things a different way, like by just clicking on the dot next to circle two. Oh, why don't I hide the dots as well? We can start again and make another little diagram. So here we go. We're going to make a line uh, segment. And I'm just going to make it here. Okay, so for the first circle that we're going to make using these segments, uh, we're going to use another way to do a compass tool, uh, another way to do a circle, which is called the compass tool. And the compass tool will uh, select a segment, which will give us the radius of the circle we make. And then the next thing we select is where we want that circle to be. So I want a circle with this as a radius. Okay, so that's how big my circle is. And now I can select where I want it. I want it to be at D. Let's do the same thing again. Uh, here's the radius. Now where do I want this circle? I want this to be at E. So there we go. We have two circles with the same radius. Let's make a new point at the intersection and draw a line through that point. By the way, if I make a mistake, let's say I want, I think I'm going to try to move that point. Uh, in this case, it worked. But let's say I, I accidentally click on a, a, a point, a place where I didn't want to. I forgot to use the move tool. Uh, a, um, let's undo it. We can undo it with this button up here. Or I can hit Control Z. On a PC, it's Control Z. On a Mac, it's usually Command Z. But here, unfortunately, it's Control Z. So I hit Control Z. And it undid that. I guess it also did that size as well. So let me uh, draw. The, finish the point about drawing a line between these two points, between F and G. Now, what do you think is special about this line G? That's for you to come up with a conjecture. What is important about that line G? And see if you can test that conjecture. Conjecture is kind of like a theory or a guess, um, educated guess. See if you can test it in uh, GeoGebra. Uh, 